it, folks. The All-Star festivities in the air. Kevin Harlan here with partners Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Let's get into the Mountain Dew three-point contest. We'll see who has the steadiest hands, the steadiest nerves to secure the victory. And Brent, was it 03 when you participated in the three-point contest? What are your recollections of the competition? Well, I, I lost. How about that, Greg? Does that, does that sum it up? So it'll be Kevin Durant here. 70 seconds to get through the five racks. Each rack ends with a money ball worth two points. Except for one rack selected by the shooter, that's all money balls. In addition, out in the do zone, two do balls each worth three points apiece. And the shooters who can really stretch their range, they get rewarded with those do balls. I think it's been a fun addition to this competition. Do ball town. No, uh oh, KD starting to light it up now. 15. That makes it 17. Eighteen. Just one rack to go. Good for twenty-one. Twenty-two points. Twenty-two points will be his total for the round. Hey guys, an impressive showing from him in that one. Well, not shocking to see him be this dominant. He just makes it look so effortless with the way he shoots it. And so here we go with Trey Young. So each player gets five racks along the arc, along with two balls at deep range, and 70 seconds on the clock to shoot all 27. Those deep shots are worth three points. The money balls on their racks are worth two, and the rest are one apiece. Additionally, each competitor makes one of their racks all money balls. So much of your total score comes down to you hitting that entire money ball rack. These guys have to be smart about where they place that. Seven. Got to get all the shots off. He misses his fourth straight. Eight. Nine. Ten points so far. Can't get the money ball to fall. Twelve. He got 14 points in that round. I'd say a solid showing from him. Yeah, struggled with consistency there. Uh, we always talk about guys getting into a rhythm in this event, and he just wasn't able to. So it'll be Damian Lillard here. And once a player misses a few in a row, the, the rim starts to close up. You hate to see it. And sometimes taking just a hair off of your speed or tempo, that could help you. Just lock back in. Don't dwell on the miss. Keep that confidence. Three. Now has four. Drains the money ball. Misses with the first two ball. Oh, no. Off the mark with five in a row now. He's behind on the clock. He needs to pick up the pace here. One for two from the do zone. That's 12. Four straight hits. One rack to go here. That makes it 17. He finishes the round with 17 points. I'd say he handled that round pretty well, guys. And so here's Towns now. Well, the KO comes at 13, so 14 will keep him alive. Yeah, that score can't have him too worried. I'm guessing he'll top that without much of a problem. He's got two. Three. And 
And that's two racks in a row that he struggled with. Three bad racks in a row. Really tough to recover now. And now really starting to get cold. Four. Five for him now. Just two points there. He won't be happy with that. He's got to close out with some makes. At six. Eight points is all he needs. Can't sink the money ball there. He needs eight points more. Here's eight. Ten. Oh, and unfortunately with that miss, he will not advance. He's just shooting what he's got left now. Yeah, and just fell a bit short here tonight. He finishes with a total score of 12 points. There was just something off about him in that round. Yeah, ran up a streak there of six consecutive misses at one point. That's putting himself in a big hole. And here we go now with Darius Garland. Well, the KO comes at 13, so 14 will keep him alive. The door wide open right now. Seven more to keep shooting. Ten. Only four more points to stay in this. He's got 11. Gets the money ball. One more to stay alive. Misses for the fourth straight time. He's in third. And that's going to put him in a tie for second. Now in second. Count it. That's just too easy. And he records 20 points in that one. He had his shot on automatic. That's why he's in this contest. And he knocked down five out of the nine money balls pretty good and so here we go desmond bain it can be a big advantage going last he knows the score he needs to beat in order to qualify 17 or more to stay in it now his target score is easily within striking distance he's got two Drains the money ball. And seven. Eight. Seven points more to stay alive. A three-point lack for him right there. Needs seven here. He misses his fourth straight. Off the mark with five in a row now. Five more, and he advances. He's at 14. One more to move on. He tallies 18 points. He went out there and knocked him down. A terrific round. Durant's got the honors of being able to go into the finals as the top scorer from the qualifying round. And let's hope for a better finals round because that qualifying was anything but exciting. Well, when the stakes get this high and the spotlight now is a little bit brighter and a little bit warmer, some guys could struggle with that initially. And so here we go, Desmond Bain. First out of the gates here in the final round. Can he set a mark that the rest can't match? And no rest for him here. He put up the lowest first round score. Therefore, he'll kick us off here. He's got to be feeling it right now. And maybe not the most advantageous spot to be in, but we'll see how he looks during those final racks, looking at 54 shots in a row here. He misses his fourth straight. Off the mark with five in a row now. Struggling. He's losing his way here. That's seven misses in a row. And he's got ten. Eleven. One wreck remaining. That's twelve. In the end, it's a twelve-point round for him. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have done a lot better. And here we go now with Darius Garland. 
12 points is the score to beat. The door is wide open. One and two. Three points now. Seven more to tie. Dig deep. Three racks in a row and just hasn't had his number. Seven more points and he'll tie it up. Tough stuff. His fifth consecutive miss. Ooh. Seven more to tie. Dig deep. Six. Seven. Four more points and it's time. Ten points so far. Twelve. Oh, nice. Count it. That makes it five straight. His score sits at 18 points for the round. An outstanding round. He looked very comfortable. And he's at 18. And so we'll see Kevin Durant. He had the highest score in the last round. Let's see if he can do it again here in the finals. He'll need 19 or more to walk away with the win. He's got two. Misses on the money ball. Four. At six. He's at eight points. And that's two racks straight where he has looked solid. Eight more points for him to tie it up. Eleven points total. Six points more to tie it up. Can't cash in on the money ball. Goes one of two on the do ball. Four points more to win. 16 so far. Up to 17 now. Gets it to go, and that'll do it. That's your winning bucket. And how about a few more just for the show? He comes away with 23 points. A tremendous round. Wow. Seemed like he couldn't miss. Man, nothing like having that great start to alleviate some of that pressure. He was showing up there. Just hit 23. And so we've reached the finale of the Mountain Dew three-point contest. Never a dull moment as always. And this year's champ, Kevin Durant. Man, he had it rolling at the right time and has to be happy with how it all played out. Well, you win something like this, and it's a great footnote at the end of your career to say I was the best of the best on that given night. And so from all of us here at 2K Sports, it was our pleasure to bring you this year's three-point contest. For Brent Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.